While CSS Grid Layout is going to land in a pretty complete state in browsers in 2017, there will of course be older browsers that don't support Grid. With Feature Query, CSS has a new inbuilt way of helping us deal with browsers that don't support new CSS. And if you've ever used Modernizer, you'll have an idea how you might use it. And if you've ever used a Media Query, you'll understand how to use it. So let's take a look. I've got a very simple Grid Layout here which we can see working in Chrome, which supports Grid. But in a browser that doesn't support Grid, we wouldn't see the Grid layout at all. For instance, we can take a look in Safari here, and you can see the items all stacked up. I've added a message, and you can just see that in the markup. We've got a paragraph of the class of message, and I've given it some styling. Now what we want to do is we want to hide this message if our browser supports Grid. And I can do that with a feature query. So we say at supports display grid, that's the property value pair that we're looking for. And in this case, I can just say message display none. And the message goes away because this browser. It's Chrome, it's got flags enabled, and it supports Grid, so we don't see the message. But if we go back into Safari, which doesn't support Grid at the moment, and we can reload that, and we still see the message, because Safari doesn't have support for Display Grid. So feature queries work really nicely if you want to do something for older browsers and then overwrite it inside the feature query for your supporting browser. And they've got really great browser support at this point, so anything new that appears in CSS, you're going to be able to use a feature query to look for support of it and do whatever you want with that specification without causing any problems to devices and browsers that don't have support already.